Even with the best of intentions, mistakes happen. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. This is Creator Reality, where we talk editing and creator gear. And today we're gonna to talk about a mistake that I made and the solution. So if you've used the Magic Mask feature in DaVinci Resolve, this could happen to you. And I've got the solution for you, so I'm gonna show that to you, as well as some of the other things that went into creating the effect that you saw in the thumbnail. So maybe kind of a roundabout way of creating a whole new video out of a mistake that an eagle-eyed viewer noticed. So thank you again to them for letting me know that I screwed up. Hey, look, I, I did a whole video on avoiding mistakes and in there I talked about, you know, doing a preview and a review and all this stuff before and after rendering. Uh, somehow I missed it. I have no idea, but Today we're here to fix it. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and take a look at what happened. Here we are in the Magic Mask video and only 44 seconds in. If I play it, you'll see that I'm talking and then some weird stuff happens, right? That is not what it is supposed to look like, my friend. No, it is not supposed to look like that at all. In this video, I was talking about rotoscoping, so I wanted to show what rotoscoping sort of looks like and kind of in an artistic way, right? But I screwed up. So I did the whole rotoscoping effect and then Magic Mask screwed up. So we each take a little bit of the blame. It's fine. It's not really a big deal. It's kind of a big deal, but I'm so mad at myself. Let's, let's go in and fix this. We're gonna start by right-clicking on our Fusion clip and we're gonna go into the Fusion page with it. And you can see there's a lot going on, right? I've got a time stretcher node here that takes our media in one. If I bring it up in the left viewer here, I basically freeze framed the entire video, but that feeds into a merge, which feeds into another merge and the magic mask goes into that. So it's, it's all kind of jumbled up, but you can see that I have a polygon. So I have a line that is drawn around me, which merges with a dark blue background, but it has a glow node on it. So that about halfway through, it's supposed to be drawing a line around me, right? Well, if we move down here, we merge everything in because this magic mask gets merged in on top. If I bring that in the viewer, nothing seems to have happened there, right? We're gonna get back into that. First of all, Magic Mask 1 is just my head. It needs to be on top of everything, right? And I wanted to center on this, so it goes through a tracker, and I've already shown how to do that in another video, but it basically centers my head in the frame, which is why my head wobbled in that first video. Magic Mask 2, on the other hand, if we go to its reference frame, it's me, it's all of me. So the layers are gonna be the background, the polygon line, and then me, and then my head on top of all that so that it looks supposedly right. But you can see the line is not being drawn, right? So what we have to do to fix the magic mask issue is go into disk cache under our inspector. If you don't see it, click up here. You see regenerate all. And now resolve is gonna go through and it's going to regenerate the disk cache for the entire clip. And we have to do it twice in this case because we have two magic masks happening. And then once that's done, you're good to go. Now that the first one's done regenerating the cache, let's go do the second one. So we're gonna click on Magic Mask 1, and we're gonna click Regenerate All on this one, and it's gonna go through, you can see it, it's gonna go through and regenerate the whole thing. And the way this line glows, you see it already building there, now that we've regenerated one quarter of the, the cache here, you'll see that it's generating the line. It just creates a glowing outline that you were supposed to see in the original video. And again, I'm sorry about that. I, I do my best to come out with the best stuff I can, only to be thwarted by computer stuff. Go figure, you know? It's not like I'm not in IT or anything, but hey, we all make mistakes, right? Have you ever made a mistake in a YouTube video? Leave me a comment below. Let's share in the misery for a hot second, right? Honestly, I've already had it up to here with this whole video because the number of strokes I had to add to the number of magic mask nodes in Fusion and in the color tab just drove me nuts as it was. It really just, it was a lot. And my computer only has 32 gigs of RAM and Resolve was already crying foul at it and crashed a bunch of times. And it, it, it really did try to melt my computer. 
So now that it's done regenerating the cache, we need to come back in the edit tab like I have, make sure that our fusion clip is selected, come up to the playback menu, delete render cache and select selected clips. Yes, we wanna do it, so we click delete, it'll delete it, and now DaVinci Resolve will regenerate the cache. And now that that's done, we can play it back. And you can see that it draws a line around me and my head stayed in place. Isn't that a nifty effect? I mean, all it took was drawing a polygon around me and then tracking my head and magic masking it. And yeah, it's, you know what? It's all stuff I've taught in other videos. So it's just kind of treating fusion like building blocks where you know how to do one thing, you know how to do a second thing, then you add them together, you've got a third thing. And in this case, magic mask really screwed up and I'll take a little bit of the blame because I didn't do a proper post render review, I suppose, but now you've seen the effect. So yay, success, I don't know, but you know how to fix this problem. So hopefully this little quick tip that wasn't so quick helped. Anyway, I'm gonna ask you to watch this video next. If you liked the video, this one, this video here, if you liked it, boop the like button, please consider subscribing. We're doing good here. We're growing a community on Creator Reality, and I appreciate each and every one of you. So I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.